Hey beautiful family. So um, this is going to be a little bit different video. Um, I have had, um, I have been asked, you know, just um, like what different foods around um, where I live um, that we eat, just, just to get an idea and stuff. And um, from those who are overseas and stuff like that and since it is getting um definitely getting colder out um i thought i it would be just kind of a fun video to share some of the um foods different foods and share some recipes that are my recipes the recipes i like to use uh of different dishes for when it's cold out and all that good stuff and some um some recipes and some things that um, I personally like here in the area of where I live um, and central um, mid central uh, uh, oh my goodness my mind's going like central United States um, the Midwestern states um, what we like to eat um, um, so without further ado <laughs> Let's go ahead and jump into it. Maybe I can stop stumbling over my words. So um, I hope y'all kind of enjoy this. Um, this this is like I said, it's completely off topic. Um, but um, some of the dishes I actually like to um, fix when it gets really cold outside, um, or your basic dishes. Um, one of those basic dishes um, is chili. I do really enjoy fixing chili. Um, I didn't actually write down, um, so I wouldn't forget anything. I actually didn't write down the ingredients I use for chili. Um, chili is so incredibly versatile. Um, as a matter of fact, all these dishes really are versatile. Um, you can change them up. You can add things. You can take away things, whatever you want to do. Um, and that's the kind of dishes I really like using, uh, because I love making it, you know, my own. And, um... But chili, me personally, I me I love, love, excuse me, I love putting hamburger, a pound of hamburger in my chili. Uh, my mom is not, uh, she's a vegetarian, so of course I, I make sure she gets the chili um, before I put the hamburger in. But um, what I do is I, I use a can of, um, I think they're about 15, 16 ounce cans of um, mild ch chili beans. Um and um, I use um, dark red, uh, 16, 15, 16 ounce a can of dark red kidney beans and uh, same size uh, one can of light red kidney beans. And I also use um, uh, the same, about the same size 15, 16 ounce can of diced tomatoes. And then I will um, use a chili. I like chili man seasoning packets. Uh, that's usually the chili, uh, the seasoning packets I use. I will use one per pot. Um, I will actually also put in additional seasoning like chili seasoning and stuff like that. Just whatever I feel like adding in. And that's why I said it's so versatile. You can do whatever you want. Um, if you want to make it hotter, if you don't want it as hot, whatever you want to do. And that's pretty much the way I make chili. Um, it is super yummy in my personal opinion. Um, and that's how I make my chili. Um, I do not make it extremely hot because my mom does not like it really super hot. I used to like um, chili more on the hotter side, but since I've gotten older, I like less hot, but that's okay. We have hot sauce in this house. I gotta have it, especially with my two children. So, <laughs> so we make sure we keep hot sauce on, on hand so that way they can add it to the chili. And sometimes I still add some hot sauce to my, uh, to my bowls. Um, but another dish that I use, um, I, I like to make, and I haven't made it in a while, and I'd like to make it sometime soon. And that is taco soup. So good. Love, love, love. Um, I use a, a pound of ground beef. I use um, a 16-ounce can of chili beans undrained. Um, it's about 15 to 16 ounce can of um, Mexican corn. I think it, I think it is. I don't know. It might be smaller than that. It's been a while. Um, but just a regular size of Mexican can, uh, can of Mexican corn, then a can of diced tomatoes with 
uh, green chilies. I believe that's like about 15, 16 ounce can as well. A package of dry ranch dressing mix and a package of taco seasonings as well. You just basically throw it all together. Of course, you ground the beef and make sure you get that down. And I have this trick that I use. Uh, I don't, I used to drain my beef, to drain all the grease out. I don't do that anymore. I do the paper towel method. If you haven't heard of the paper towel method, basically what you do is when your beef, your ground beef um, is, is finished cooking um, or whatever you're using, um, whatever you're cooking up, if, whenever it's done browned and done cooking, you just take the, take a paper towel and you fold it up, um, wad it up, whatever you want to do, stick it in the pan, skillet, whatever you have, take your, your spatula or wooden spoon, whatever you have you're cooking with, and you just move, take the paper towel and you move it all along and it'll absorb that grease of course the more grease that's in there the more paper towels you're going to need um but it is so awesome love 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 that trick but that's um what i do um to help get a lot of the grease out of the pan or skillet um so what i do of course ground the beef then once the beef is ground i go ahead and i add everything else in there of course you use um you, i think it's oh i can't remember it's been a while since i actually made it but you do add water as well just follow um the kind of like whatever the taco seasoning is i think i want to say it's about a half a cup total you would put in there just kind of eyeball it. I eyeball a lot too. Um, if it's, um, if it looks like you might need a little more water, then go ahead and use it. Um, actually, it's going to be probably a little bit more than that because it is a taco soup. It's a soup, so you want it to be soupy. Um, oh my goodness. If anyone, if anyone's watching this, if y'all can help me out, please help me out. Um, because I can't remember honestly um, how much water to put it in. I eyeball a lot. I don't actually measure. I don't do a whole lot of baking because <laughs> I'm not big on measuring. Um, but um, when it's all done, we also like to use Frito chips to put in the taco soup. Yum. Oh, it is so delicious. Love, love, love. Um, so yeah, it's going to be more than a half a cup, <laughs> I'm sure, of water. Anyways, um, the next thing um, I like to make, as a matter of fact, I made this last night and it was scrumptious. It was incredible, if I do say so myself. And that is homemade vegetable soup. Um, what I um, put in it is a one small onion. And actually, this is how I started out. Um, I put maybe about, ooh, roughly a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil in the, in the pot. Um, I, I dice up uh, one small to medium onion and I throw that in the pot and then two to three uh, celery uh, stalks of celery, two to three uh, carrots um, and then I'll let it all start cooking and I'll let the uh, 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 onion get um, soft and start to get transparent and then once that happens I'll throw in roughly a tablespoon a little bit more of garlic it'd be minced garlic um, is what I use. I use like the squeeze bottle or the jar. If you've actually got cloves, then put, actually, honestly, it's however much you want. This, that's what I'm talking about. It is so, so versatile. Use as much as you want. If you want more celery, put more celery, more onion, put more onion, more carrots, put more carrots, more garlic, put more garlic. Um, so if you want more garlic, and this is, I'm just guesstimating honestly on this because I, like I said, I don't, measure um and then three medium to two large potatoes just go ahead and of course peel them and then dice them up make sure everything is just bite size um uh actually less than bite size um would be great um make sure you can get multiple things on a spoon um and then um one can of diced tomatoes about 15 14 to 16 ounce can um, one Lipton vegetable seasoning packet. Lipton vegetable um, seasoning is amazing. Love it. Um, a 32 ounce um, container of vegetable stock or vegetable broth. You can use either or. It's fine. 
and then um, one can of corn, one can of green beans, one can of peas, um, all undrained, or you can drain them either way, but I think it just gives it extra flavor. Um, now the peas, I would wait till the very end until it's all cooked, it's all done. Uh, ten, the carrots and the potatoes and all that is uh, tender and you're basically shutting it off to even add the peas, even if they're frozen peas. Um, because peas, um, if you've ever cooked with peas in this way, you know that they tend to get sort of getting really mushy or crinkled up like almost look like prunes. <laughs> so um, it doesn't take uh, peas very long at all. So um, just wait to the very, very end to throw the peas in there. Um, you can even leave them out. You can, you can leave um, the green beans out. You can do all fresh. Um, we had a corn on a cob left over that I needed to use. So I did that. I did that plus a can of corn. Um, and it was so amazing. It is so, so good. I'm telling you, I also added in, I added in some rosemary. I added in some, um, what was it? Parsley and just some other stuff. And I just, whatever I felt like adding in, I threw it in and it was so incredible. It was so, so yummy. Um, like I said, it is incredibly versatile. You can throw in whatever you want. If you wanted to throw in spinach, throw in spinach, just whatever you want. Um, Another thing, another dish I used, I kind of came up with this kind of on my own. I got the idea watching um, Food Network one day. It was some, it was like a sea, like a seafood gumbo kind of thing they were making. And I'm like, I don't like all the stuff they're using. But if I took everything I like from a pizza and I put it in a soup and made it like a gumbo, and that would be good. So I, I kind of made up the name, but I call it an Italian gumbo. <laughs> Um, but what I use is, um, a 16 ounce and do not knock it till you try it. It is that good. Um, a 16 ounce Oscar Mayer ham lunch meat, 14 ounce, um, kielbasa sausage, six ounce package of pepperoni, unless you want more pepperoni. Um, and with the three of those, you go ahead and you cut them all up uh, into bite-sized pieces. Put them in a deep pot. Make sure it's a big pot. You're going to need a big pot for this dish. And make sure it's on a low setting, low heat to start it out. And throw this in there. You don't need any olive oil or nothing like that. I mean, you could put like maybe a teaspoon of olive oil to get it started, but there's gonna be enough uh, like oils and stuff in there with the meat. And once the heat starts going, um, it just start releasing and stuff. And if you get things going fast enough, you'll be fine. Um, but you could use some olive oil if you wanted to, um, perfectly fine. Excuse me, green onions. Um, put some, chop some green onions, put in there. A can of diced tomatoes, again, 14 to 16 ounces. Um, a can of corn, can of peas, or green beans, or all three. Very versatile, I'm telling you. All undrained, all undrained. A 32 ounce uh, vegetable stock or broth. One and a half cups of elbow macaroni. Throw it all in the pot. I use absolutely no seasoning, none, no parsley, no nothing. I don't even put salt and pepper in it. I don't put nothing in it. There is so much flavor and seasoning in the meat and everything with the pepperoni and the ham and all the stuff. You don't need it. Trust me on this. There's just so much flavor already in it. Um, I mean, yes, of course you could add it if you really wanted to, but try it without it first. Um, there's so much flavor going on in this dish. It's amazing. It's packed. It will blow your mind. Um, but um, I see where your water is with all this. You might have to add some more wa some water to it. If you just add enough water to cover like the noodles and stuff, that'd be fine. Just cook it till it's all done, until the noodles are tindle, tin tindle, tender and you're good to go. It doesn't take it very long at all. 
And then uh, what I have uh, is I do homemade pasta sauce. Um, I love my pasta sauce um, and my family does too. Um, uh, I just, I take pride in this. I take as much pride in this as I do, you know, um, sharing God's word and, um, this walk and doing Bible giveaways and all that, uh, all that good stuff. Um, now with, uh, homemade pasta sauce, uh, again, in order, um, if you can either put beef in this or you can leave beef out, it is up to you and you can use any beef, ground beef, ground turkey, whatever you want to use. But you can go ahead and use, uh, uh, cook that, start cooking that up. If you're going to use the beef, uh, ground beef or whatever, go ahead and put that in the skillet, get it going, or the pot, whatever you want. Um, put it in the pot, put it in the pot, <laughs> pot, get it going, get it chopped up and stuff. And what you can do too is while you've got that started, go ahead and chop up one small to medium onion throw the onion in there with the meat. Just go ahead and cook it up. It'll be fine. Um, along with a bell pepper or half a bell pepper, however much bell pepper you want, however much onion you want. Um, and then while that's cooking, um, when the meat, again, when the meat is done browning, do the, go ahead and drain it. Do I do the paper towel method, even with the onions and stuff in there. It still works. It's awesome. Uh, when you're done with that, um, I put mushrooms in mine. I the fun, Here's the funny thing. Okay, I do the canned mushrooms, about six and a half ounces or 6.5 ounce uh, can of mushrooms. Um, I still dice them up really, really small. I love the flavor of mushrooms, but I hate the texture. I have, I am huge on texture. I can't, I can't tolerate the texture. Um, my daughter is the same way. She loves the taste, but hates the texture. So I have to dice them up really, really small. Um... I just, I feel like they're either too slimy or they're too like rubbery or just, I can't, I just, I, I can't, they're nasty and I, I can't, that just ruins the taste for me. Um, so I just diet some up really, really teeny, tiny, tiny, tiny. Um, and then I throw them in and then, uh, a six ounce can of tomato paste, three to four 15 ounce cans of tomato sauce or you know maybe one and a half or two 30 ounce cans whatever you have um 14 and a half about four, uh, approximately 14.5 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes um and now these next measurements are going to be approximately um because honestly i don't measure i just put it in the palm of my hand I'm like oh that looks good dump it in <laughs> Um, and if I feel I need a little more, then I just add a little more. Um, so approximately a tablespoon of minced, um, of minced garlic. I sometimes, I'm sure I put more in that. It's pretty more like about two tablespoons, to be honest. Um, a tablespoon of basil, approximately, approximately a tablespoon of parsley, about half a tablespoon tablespoon of Italian seasoning. I know Italian seasoning has some of the other stuff in there but I still use it. Um, a tablespoon of approximately a tablespoon of oregano. I do do salt and pepper. Um, honestly, I couldn't tell you how much I just do it to taste. Uh, I do all this to taste, to be honest with you. Um, and then, um, about two to three tablespoons of sugar. Actually, I probably put a lot more in that. I, I'm just guessing here. Seriously, I'm just guessing it's all to taste. Um, the sugar, of course, it takes away like the bitterness, the twanginess of the, the, the acidity of the tomato. Um, but I just, after all that, I stir it up, make sure, you know, I uh, then after everything's stirred up, I just go ahead and taste it and see how it tastes. And um, once everything's cooked together and it's all warmed through, it be done. <laughs> as simple as that. Um, another thing, um, actually, um, that's here in the Midwestern states, actually, it's mainly here in Illinois, um, that we have that is extremely yummy and huge. And that is, um, uh, horseshoes. And in case you don't know what horseshoe is, a horseshoe is, um, basically you take a thick slice of bread, um, 
like a Texas toast slice of bread and um, you go ahead, you, you toast it up and you put it down on a plate and then you go ahead and you, um, whatever choice of meat you want, it can be um, ground hamburger, or it can be um, an actual hamburger patty, or it can be um, spicy chicken strips, it can be regular chicken strips, it can be um, it can be seafood, it can be whatever meat basically you want. I mean, it's so versatile um, that way. Um, but the the original one, the normal one, um, uh, a basic one, however you want to word it, is um, like a, um, a hamburger patties. Um, but you put them down, and then what they do next is they will put um, fries on top of that. And then when they get done with that, they will smother the entire thing with amazing cheese sauce. <laughs> and it is so incredibly good. Um, it is yummy, yummy, yummy. Um, I will actually post, if you're curious, I don't have like an actual recipe for it. I mean, it's pretty, like I said, it's, it's, it's pretty um, self-explanatory. But the cheese sauce, um, I did come across a basic one um, on YouTube. And I will actually, um, it's easier for you to just watch. Um, I will uh, put that in the description box below. Um, I will actually, in case you are interested, I will actually put put these uh, recipes as well in the description box below. Um, so in case you guys are interested, um, y'all can have them. Um, like I said, you know, the measurements, like on the spices, it's just approximately, so keep that in mind, just go by how uh, your taste buds are. And I just thought this would be kind of a fun video for those um, who are like, especially overseas who are curious and those who are just curious about um, in my neck of the woods, you know, um, and what I cook in the wintertime and what I like to cook in general. Um, so as always, thank you so much. Um, if you're new to the channel, thank you. Um, I normally don't do these kind of videos. Um, I just feel maybe this could be helpful to some who are just really curious. And, um, I normally do Bible reviews. Bible giveaways and just whatever the Lord uh, lays upon me to share. So, um, I know this is really, really different from a norm, but, um, like I said, I know people have just been curious and stuff. So trying to help out <laughs> and I, I pray, hope and pray this does help. Um, so like I said, as always, thank you so much. And, um, Make sure you comment, like, share, subscribe, click the bell icon, and click all to get notified each and every time I upload a new video. Um, I am not going to steer away from what I normally do. This is like, like I said, you know, completely out of the norm. Um, and um, there might be one more video to come up um, later this week, but that's, that's, that's about it. Um, I do have, um, I am... I don't know if I'm going to upload it before or after this video, but there is a video that's going to be uploaded that's going to be a Bible review. So um, until next time, much love. God bless.